For friends who are interested in diving in the blue hole to experience the extraordinary charm of such magical place more safely and calmly, here I share with you the three challenges that recreational divers need to face when diving in the blue hole. Challenge 1. Divers need to jump directly from the shore into this narrow passage like a pyramid tomb tunnel and descend vertically from the surface to a depth of 30 meters or more. This vertical, narrow tunnel is absolutely claustrophobic hell. The diver needs to balance the internal pressure and control the attitude of the dive while deflating the buoyancy control device BCD. Because the channel is too narrow, many inexperienced divers will have their oxygen cylinders touched against the stone walls of the channel, forming a crisp bell in the water, which is why this vertical channel is called L Bell. Tunnel vertical dives are not a problem for me. But on my second visit to the blue hole, I plan to use my underwater camera to photograph the entire blue hole dive. During the dive, there was a problem with my equipment. So, I dive in and try to fix the device problem. And this behavior made me miss the best point in the regulation of pressure balance in my body, and the discomfort caused by the disturbance of breath and ear pressure is one of the reasons for the situation. Tip, never think underwater photography is an easy task. Because photography requires extreme concentration, this can easily cause short of breath for inexperienced divers. Be sure to do what you can, safety first, photography second. Challenge 2. After coming out of this elevator leading to the underwater abyss, you are greeted by an intoxicating deep blue, and you find yourself completely wrapped in deep blue. It's like wearing a pair of deep blue frosted contact lenses. A sudden entry into an open, unprotected, deep blue world from a narrow, wrapped passage can cause visual dizziness and disorientation, which in turn can cause psychological tension and panic. Challenge 3. 30 meters is the maximum safe depth allowed for advanced open water divers. When you enter the open sea outside the blue hole from the L Bell Tunnel, it is already 30 meters deep. To your right is a vertical steep cliff that plunges into the sea at a depth of 1,000 meters. The underwater visibility of the waters near the blue hole is about 100 meters, which is equivalent to standing on the glass floor on the top floor of a 33-story skyscraper and looking down. Many divers who are accustomed to diving in coral reefs where they can see the seabed at a glance will feel weak legs and inner panic caused by acrophobia when facing the abyss-like seabed. The feeling of dizziness wrapped in deep blue and the tension caused by the fear of heights intertwined, making me, who was already in a state of disorder, breathing rapidly. At the time, my diving buddy, Ali, hadn't noticed that I was unwell. My dive computer had indicated that I fell to a depth of 34 meters. Psychological panic made me want to escape from there. But I was 30 meters underwater and didn't have time to get to the surface to solve my breathing discomfort. I tried to take deep breaths to adjust my breathing disorder, but the psychological panic caused by fear of heights and underwater loneliness made me short of breath. Fortunately, Ali came to my side in time, motioned me to grab his arm, close my eyes and take a deep breath. There was a moment when I felt that my heart beating had reached its limit. No matter how hard I tried, my breathing became more and more short, and I was on the verge of coma. Fortunately, the willpower to survive finally overcame the psychological panic, and the problem of respiratory distress was gradually alleviated. That feeling was like you were in a movie, the protagonist who was hunted down by monsters continues to press the button of the escape door that seems to be loose. Just when the monster was about to swallow the protagonist, the door opened and the protagonist escaped. This was the closest I've come to death so far, but it was this accident that gave me a completely different perspective on the underwater world of the blue hole than other divers. Although I still felt a little apprehensive after the fact, but more of it was unwilling to give up. Comparing the completely different performances of the two blue hole dives, in addition to the factors of the underwater camera, more psychological factors were at play. I don't want to live in the shadow of my frustration and my inner fear of deep blue. So, I decided to go to the blue hole for the third time, continue to complete the shooting plan and completely conquer this deadly deep blue psychologically.